Hello there, thank you for joining me for article number three, common beginner guitar playing problems and how to fix them. So in this session, I'm just gonna basically help you identify different problems that are gonna occur in your playing, and of course, allow you to troubleshoot of your own accord. So a great teacher is gonna see these problems and point them out to you, but if you can be proactive in identifying them, you know, prevention is better than the cure or prevention is the best cure. And rather than have people go, you know, two or three years developing bad habits and really ingraining it, we can do a much better job of educating you about the proper way to do it and avoid all these mistakes altogether. So common problem number one is your frets are buzzing when you're playing notes. So you might hear something like this. That sort of buzzing sound. So generally there's a couple of solutions to this sound. Number one is making sure your fingers are right up near the fret. So if you're right on the edge of the fret, it's gonna be nice and clear. If I go on the fret, I'm gonna hear this. Or if I'm too far back on a cheap, nasty guitar, I'm gonna get that buzz sound. So number one, just make sure your fingers are right up near the frets. Number two, it helps to use the tip of your finger. So I like to use the can of coke grip, which you already know. We don't wanna use the flat part or the marshmallow part as I call it. If you use the tip of your finger, you're gonna get the most leverage and you're not gonna to have to squeeze as hard to get that nice, clear sound. Number three is making sure that our fingers are curved. And again, that comes with using the tip, the tip of your finger and that can of Coke grip. But this is especially important in chords because if you're playing your chords and your fingers are flat, you're gonna be blocking the strings and getting these sort of sounds. So you wanna have your thumb low, your finger curved, your hand open up like that. You never wanna have our thumb, I'll show you the back of the neck. Don't wanna have your thumb like that. Don't wanna have your thumb over the top. Don't wanna to have it off the neck entirely. You wanna get that can of Coke, turn it sideways, put your thumb there, bring your fingers around in the right spot, and that should make things nice and clear, whether it's chords or single note playing there. Now, the last little one is uh, more of a beginner problem, and kids have this one quite a lot, and it's just making sure you're squeezing hard enough. You need to squeeze hard enough for the string to go down and touch the wood behind the fret. Now, don't over squeeze, because that can um, you know, bend the string or, or really fatigue your hands quickly, but make sure you're squeezing enough. And if you're a total beginner, especially kids, so parents, you can watch out for this, just be mindful of, you often squeeze enough and look at your, your fretting hand, but then when you go to look at the picking hand, kids tend to relax their other hand because the, the focus isn't on it. So we just need to be mindful in the beginning that we're able to keep on squeezing while we look at our other hand and make sure it's in the right spot.